Well, hello and welcome to my latest video. Now, some of you will know uh, that I've recently completed Land's End to John O'Groats, 930 miles across the length of Britain. And I thought I'd do a few follow-up videos with some uh, lessons from Le Jog, some tips and suggestions, some, uh, some thoughts about the trip that uh, uh, may help if you are thinking of doing the trip yourself or if you're thinking of doing a similar long distance ride. So I've done a couple of videos already which you can see on my channel as well as the full two hour, yes, two hour uh, full, full uncut version of the full trip itself. So today's video is about wheels and tires and possibly tubes. I rode an Orbea Terra gravel bike and I'll do a separate video about that particular bike and why I chose it. But I swapped the wheels that came with the bike which were alloy wheels which happened to be shod with 38mm gravel tyres for a set of wheels that I had on a Giant Defy and those were these wheels which are in fact Giant SLR1 wheels which are carbon wheels and the reason I swapped the wheels out is because these are lighter wheels, there's a fair amount of climbing on the, the jog trip and so I wanted that weight saving and it did prove to be very beneficial. So then uh, was I going tubeless or was I going with tubes? Well if you know anything about Julian and his videos you will know that I have not had a great deal of success with tubeless. I have tried uh, I have persevered. Various people have given me advice and said you're doing it all wrong and of course I've taken their advice and ignored it completely. But I have had various punctures and in the end, in the end, I've decided, well not, not exactly reluctantly, I'm, I'm not desperate to go tubeless, but it, I decided in the end uh, that I'd ditch the tubeless and I would go with tubes. So as I'm always in a uh, an ongoing hunt to find a decent set of wheels and tyres and tubes that won't give me constant punctures, I thought I would try these things, which you may have come across before, you may have seen videos about them. I did a video myself of an unboxing. These are Tubolito thermoplastic tubes, and they are supposed to be a lot lighter and a lot more compact than a normal butyl tube, which they are, uh, and perhaps a bit more puncture resistant. So I bought a couple of these, and I thought, I know, I'll put them in my saddlebag because that will cut down on the weight on the bike. And then I thought, well, what's the point of having a set of tubes unless you use them? And unless you use them, you're not going to know whether the rolling resistance is, is good and the ride quality is good and the, the lightness is good and the puncture resistance is there. So I decided to fit these in the tyres. And I had two punctures in the first two days in both of these Tubolitos. You may have seen a YouTube short that I did about Tubolitos saying I was consigning these to the dustbin of history. Now you will note it, you will say, well it doesn't look much like it's in a dustbin Julian. Well this particular one is not in a dustbin and I have to decide am I going to keep this tube and ultimately use it or keep this tube and just use it because there's not much point having a tube you don't use. Um, am I going to just use it as a spare in my saddlebag and see what happens next time I get a puncture? I don't know, to be honest. I really don't know. The jury's out on that one. Did you ever see that film, 12 Angry Men? Was it 12 Angry Men? Or 12 Angry People? Were there no women on that jury? I never actually saw the film. Uh, Henry Fonda, I believe, was the jury foreman, for person. And... Um, Anyway, the jury, the jury is out, the 12 angry men, possibly 11 men, one woman, whatever the makeup was, including Henry Fonda, uh, are, are out. And they are yet to return with their verdict on what does Julian do with his Tubolito. So let's just, let's park the Tubolito, shall we? Go back to the tyre. And I was using, decided to use, these rather nice tan-walled Vittoria Corsa, I don't know if you can see that there. Can you see that there? Is that, is that around the wrong way? They are Vittoria Corsa Graphene 2.0 30 mil tyres. And I was riding or had been riding these tyres on the Giant for uh, probably a few hundred miles, not masses of miles, 
and I was very pleased with them. They were, they were comfortable, they were fast rolling. I hadn't had any punctures, so I thought, okay, well, I'll transfer the wheels and I'll transfer the tires with, as I, as I said, Tubalito tubes onto the Orbeateur, and that's what I wrote. And I was very happy with the wheels. Funny enough, on the first day, um, we, we rode out from Penzance to Land's End and then back again. And I was riding along with a, a guy called David who had a Cannondale Super 6, nice bike. And he was just behind me and he, he kind of pulled up alongside me and said, um, you're riding, uh, are those Victoria tires? And I said, yeah, yeah, Victoria Corso 2.0 graphene. And he said, you're, uh, you're brave, aren't you? And I was like, what, what do you mean? Yeah, when a cyclist comes up behind it beside you and, and comments on your tires and says, You're brave, aren't you? And uh, I said, wait, 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 what, what do you mean? Why, why, are you, why are you saying I'm brave? He said, Well, they have a reputation, a reputation for getting punctures. And I said, Oh, shit. I said, I've been using them for a while, I've been very happy with them. Um, anyway, I did then subsequently get uh, three punctures. Uh, in the tyres and in the tubalito, two in the tubalito, one in normal butyl tube. And then when he saw me later in the tube, he said, "Are you the guy who had three punctures?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "On those, on those Victoria Corso two point naught graphene tyres, thirty mil." And I said, "Yeah." And he said, "Hmm, interesting." And rode off on his Cannondale Super Six, as you would, as you would. So my, what what is Julian's lessons then in this video? Get to the point. My point, first of all, is. If you are comfortable with tubeless, if you've been running tubeless for a while, if tubeless work for you, then continue with your tubeless, right? If you are normally riding with tubes, you're happy with tubes, you're happy with changing your punctures, you don't want to go down the whole tubeless route, great, go along with that. If you do think of going tubeless, I would strongly, strongly, strongly say, do not go tubeless less than three months before you go on the job, because you do not want to start a long, 930 mile trip like this with tubeless tires on your first time when you haven't had experience of what sealant can and can't do or or how the the, the anchovies or bacon strips work or, or don't work all right so if you are going to go tubeless make sure you've run them in your experience you know what you're doing etc etc et in terms of tire choice um i could have gone something a bit stronger continental gator skins i have a pair of them but i really find the ride quality is, is terrible i was looking around and toying with the idea of getting a pair of continental gp 5000s probably 32 mil uh but i couldn't find any because uh everything is sold out and and everything is really in short supply and so forth so i thought about some other tires which, which i had i've got some uh pirelli cinturato which are 35 mil tires but i thought you know i wanted a good balance between what was reasonably puncture proof haha -ha, uh what was going to be reasonably lightweight uh what was going to be pretty smooth rolling and that's why I went with the kind of compromise, if you like, of the 30 mil tyres. Now, apart from those three punctures in the first um, uh, three days, I had no further punctures with the uh, tyres and the tubes, and I had no further problems with the, uh, the wheel. So the wheel and tyre combo worked very well. I was very happy with it. I was very happy with my uh, rolling resistance, very happy with the way the Orbeo Tower rode, rode with these particular wheels and with these particular tyres. So, as so many of these things and, and my lessons from the Lodjog, I suppose my key lesson is, is go with what you know, go with what you're happy with, go with what you're familiar with. Do not, for something like the Jog, uh, jump into doing something new. Now, I did that with, with the Tubalitos, right? I hadn't had a lot of experience with them. I decided to use them. That, that was a mistake, all right? I think it, it, it was the only way to find out if they were any good, and they weren't any good, but it was the wrong way uh, to find out because I could have, should have leave, left these at home and, and mowed them separately on, on other rides. But, you know, you, you live and learn, and with any luck, you can learn from my mistakes. So there you are. That's the, the tires, the wheels, the tubes, or tubeless, uh, my suggestions, advice, guidance for doing the jog or a similar long distance journey. So thanks very much for watching. There will be more in this series of videos of lessons from the jog because I have so much to say. Thanks for watching and see you next time.